I thought maybe she'd whisk us away by magic, or at least hail a taxi. Instead, Bast borrowed a silver Lexus convertible. Oh, yes, she purred. I like this one. Come along, children. But it isn't yours, I pointed out. My dear, I'm a cat. Everything I see is mine. She touched the ignition and the keyhole sparked. The engine began to purr. No, Sadie, not like a cat, like an engine. Bast, I said. You can't just... Sadie elbowed me. We'll work out how to return it later. Right now, we've got an emergency, Carter. She pointed back towards the mansion. Blue flames and smoke now billowed from every window. But that was not the scary part. Coming down the stairs were four men carrying a large box, like an oversized coffin with long handles sticking out both ends. The box was covered with a black shroud and looked big enough for at least two bodies. The four men wore only kilts and sandals. Their coppery skin glinted in the sun as if made of metal. Oh, that's bad, Bass said. In the car, please. I decided not to ask questions. Sadie beat me to the shotgun seat, so I climbed in back. The four metallic guys with the box were racing across the yard, coming straight for us at an unbelievable speed. Before I even had my seatbelt on, Bast hit the gas. We tore through the streets of Brooklyn, weaving insanely through traffic, riding over the sidewalks, narrowly missing pedestrians. Bast drove with reflexes that were, well, cat-like. Any human trying to drive that fast would have had a dozen wrecks. But she got us safely onto the Williamsburg Bridge. I thought for sure we must have lost our pursuers, but when I looked back, the four copper men with the black box were weaving in and out of traffic. They appeared to be jogging at a normal pace, but they passed cars that were doing fifty. Their bodies blurred like choppy images in an old movie, as if they were out of sync with the regular stream of time. What are they? I asked. Shadi? No, carriers, Bass said, looking in the rearview mirror. Summoned straight from the duat, they'll stop at nothing to find their victims and throw them in the sedan. The what? Sadie interrupted. The large box, Bass said. That's kind of a carriage. The carriers capture you, beat you senseless, throw you in, and carry you back to their master. They never lose their prey, and they never give up. But why do they want us for? Trust me, Bass growled. You don't want to know. I thought about the fiery man from last night in Phoenix, how he'd fried one of his servants into a grease spot. I was pretty sure I didn't want to meet him face to face again.